Good day everyone, my name is Gottfried and I would like for us today to look at our pets. Right, my pet is a dog, his name is Rex. This is uh, photos of me and my dog Rex. Now if we look at pets, um, especially with uh, dogs, what kind of breeds do we look at when we think of dogs? Yes, Danny, tell me yours. Right, another one is Huskies. Okay, so we have Huskies as well. Very good. And uh, what, what kind of dog do you have, uh, uh, Ruby? A Yorkshire Terrier, right. That's very good. Awesome. All right. So when we look at dogs, we look at the kind of breeds that we have. In your groups, uh, I would like for you each, which one of you, to sit with one another and uh, just discuss the other types of pets that we get. Let's take two minutes and see what we have. All right. Right, everyone, two minutes is up. What did, what did we get? Danny and Jarvis, what did you guys get? Right, okay, so another one we have is a bloodhound. A bloodhound, yes. Ruby, what did you guys get? Rockweiler, also a very good one. It's also a guard dog. It's a very big dog. Very well done. Yes, and then our group over here, Danny, what did you guys get? Yorkshire Terrier, there's another one. All right, give me one more. One more, what do we have? A Jack Russell, all right. All right, everyone, so dogs we've discussed, we can see that they are very good pets. Um, what else, what else do we get when we think about pets? Yes, cats. Cats is also a very popular pet that we have. And when we think about cats that are pets, we look at something like a Persian cat. That is one, certain, that is one breed of cat. All right, one breed of cat is a Persian. Okay, we also get your normal house cat that's like a ginger cat. And then you get, what is one, one, one other type of breed of cat that we get? Yes, Ruby. A mancoon, that's right, that's a very big cat, it's a very exotic kind of cat, but it's also a pet, it's a mancoon. Very well done. Alright, guys, in your groups, let's discuss the type of other animals that make good pets. Okay, let's give each other two minutes, and we'll see what we have. Okay. Right. Two minutes are up, guys. What else do we have? Birds. That's right, Danny. Let's take a look. Birds. Yes. Birds is a very popular pet as well. Can you guys tell me if we look at the kind of birds that we get? Uh, what breeds or what kind of uh, birds people normally have as pets? Yes, correct. Parrots. Parrots is a very good one. That's also that we have is parrots. Another one is a canary. Very well done. Let's write that down. Canary. All right. So we've got parrots and canaries. What is the Lord? Budgies. That's the one I was looking for. Yes, the budgie is also a very good one. All right. Uh, Ruby, your team, what did you guys find for other pets? Very good. All right, we have fish. Fish. And tell me, Ruby, if we look at the kind of fish that people have as pets, can you tell me what type of fish do we get? The one is salt water. Yes, fish that live in the sea. So if you have an aquarium with fish, that live in the sea, they should have salt water. Correct. All right. Then we also have freshwater fish. 
fish that live in rivers most of the time. Right. So your aquarium on that side would be for a freshwater fish. Always very important is to remember when you have a pet is cleanliness. Clean up after your pet. And in the in the um, in the occasion of a of a fish as a pet, you have to clean the whole aquarium to make sure that its habitat is always clean and makes it easier and longer for them to live if the aquarium is clean. All right. Okay, guys, we're doing very well so far. Tell me some, um, let's think about more of an exotic kind of pet. Pet that you don't always find in someone's home, but you always, but it does make a good pet as well. Instances are like, yes, there we have it. Thank you, Danny. Snakes. Snakes sometimes you get house snakes and people make pets of snakes as well. They keep them in an aquarium kind of box and they feed them from there. All right. Another one that is also, uh, if we think of reptile pets, you get a tortoise. Yes, definitely. Thank you, Danny. Tortoise. What other kind of reptile pets do we have? That's right. So we've got reptiles, we've got snakes, frogs. Uh, sorry, not frogs. Snakes, uh, tortoise, iguana is also a very popular one. Iguana, iguana, all right. You mentioned frog. <laughs> what I wanted to tell you about frogs, what do you call an animal or a pet that can live both in the water and on land? What is that called? Do you guys know? It starts with an A. It's amphibian. Write that down. It's a new one. Amphibian. Yes. So you guys know that a, an animal that can live in both water and on land is called an amphibian. Another example of an a, amphibian would be called an alligator. An alligator is also an example of an amphibian. Okay. Right, guys. For our last... Um, exercise I would like for us to look at uh, food what do you feed your pet so if we have if we look at dogs dogs mainly eat dog food right dog food that they that that you buy at the supermarket um, they also have very kind of meat inclined uh, dog food so you get like chicken flavor or meat flavor or liver flavor those kind of things, right, that you have for your dog. Cats, we know that you buy cat food. Cat food that you can buy from the supermarket always has a more fish kind of flavor because cats like tuna and fish. That is the kind of treats that, that cats like. Also, very popular with cats is a saucer of milk. Cats love milk. All right. Then, if we look at our exotic pets, what would you say would you feed to a snake? What would you guys say? Ruby, tell me, what do you think? That's right, mice. That's right. Okay, so we have mice. We feed our snakes mice. That's right, mice. And if it was a frog, if anyone had a frog as a pet, it would have? Something more like insects, right? Like flies or something like that. All right. Guys, for our last exercise, I want you guys to divide back into your groups once more. I'm going to give you two minutes. And I want you to tell me the characteristics or the benefits that you, that you get or that you look for in your pet. That is why you would decide on a certain kind of pet. Why do you keep that pet? And why is it nice for you to have that pet? Okay. All right. So tell me what you think and let's get back to that. Right, everyone. Two minutes are up. Tell me the first one. Danny. What do we have? Yes, definitely. When you, especially when you have a dog, you have friendship. Friendship. 
That's right. Ruby, what did you guys say? Loyalty. That's correct. Loyalty. Okay, so we have friendship. We have loyalty. What else do we have? You can have fun. You can have fun with your pet. You can play with your pet. You can have fun with it. All right, and one more, especially what I'm looking for. When you're feeling down or you had a long day at work and you come home, what is the one thing that your pet gives you? Yes, thank you. That's the one I was looking for. Comfort. You get comfort from having a pet in your life. You don't come, alone, come home to a place that's empty and alone. You have a pet waiting for you. He's wagging his little tail. He can't wait to see you. Those are the kind of things that we look for. Guys, thank you so much for attending my class. Thank you for all your answers. And I will see you again next time.